Hi, in this video, I will discuss an important property of counting, namely inclusive counting. Let me start off this principle of inclusive counting with an example. Suppose I ask you a question, what is the number of numbers from 1 to 100? How many numbers are there from 1 to 100? By numbers I mean integers such as 1, 2, 3 and so on. Natural numbers or whole numbers or integers such as 1, 2, 3 and so on. Not numbers of decimal kind like 1.5, 2.7, 3.13 all those. So my question to you is how many numbers of the natural numbers kind integral kind are there from 1 to 100 okay so the method of finding that the number of numbers from 1 to 100 determines the principle of inclusive counting to find that first you find the difference of the first and the last numbers last number is 100 first number is 1 Find the difference of these two numbers. Whatever difference you get, that 99 will be adding one of these two and excluding the other. What is meant by inclusive counting is counting both 1 and 100 and also those integral numbers, natural numbers which exist between 1 and 100. So to find the number of numbers of the integral kind from 1 to 100 which is inclusive counting first find the difference and add 1 to that difference so 100 is the number of integral numbers from 1 to 100 inclusive now in questions in competitive exams you will find various expressions used for conveying inclusive counting they may be like this from 1 to 100 inclusive inclusive conveys the fact to include both the first and the last numbers between the range and also even without the word inclusive by default the meaning of the sentence from 1 to 100 is always inclusive only. Other expressions for inclusive counting are from 1 through 100. Another expression for inclusive counting, inclusive counting means counting all the numbers between the first and the last and also including the first and the last. Another expression for inclusive counting is from 1 through 100 with the word inclusive suffixed at the end. So like this you may find various expressions conveying inclusive counting. So the method to find the number of integral numbers for inclusive counting is to add one to the difference now with this knowledge let us do a simple question i would like you to count how many years are there from 2000 to 2022 as i said earlier without the word inclusive used anywhere in the phrase whether the word inclusive exists or does not exist by default the meaning of this expression is inclusive counting so how many years are there from 2000 to 2022 i repeat it is inclusive that means count the number of years between these two and also those years which are the, and also the first and the last so as per our method let us first find out the difference. The difference of these two numbers is 22. So as you can see here, 99 will pertain to 
not including both only when you add one to the difference that sum will include both first and the last the difference 99 will only include one of the two and exclude the other so to include both as that is the meaning of this phrase we are adding one to the difference similarly here also the difference between these two number years is 22 just as difference 99 difference 22 also will do the function of including one of the two years and excluding the other and since the standard meaning of this expression is inclusive counting so to this difference 22 add 1 so that 23 will be the number of years from 2002 2022 including both the first and the last other expressions for this questions could be how many years are there from 2000 to 2022 inclusive from 2000 through 2022 inclusive from 2000 through 2022 inclusive whether the word inclusive is added or not even the bare expression like this only asks hints at inclusive counting the method for which is adding one to the difference hope you learned something in this video Thank you.